Good day, folks. It's Sony Fortunato from the technology firm. We're going to do something a little different. Software maintenance. Uh, I can't tell you how many people I go help, and they've got a super old version of Wireshark. For whatever reason, it auto-updates, but a lot of people just ignore it. It's kind of important you keep up to date with your software. Uh, while I was doing it with Windows 10, I came across a pretty cool feature I want to share with you. So here's my Wireshark. We're getting right into it. And it's version 4.0.10. I know the current version is higher than that, so I'm going to do something different. Normally, you can just go to help, um, check for updates, or when Wireshark launches, it'll check for updates. But let's assume you didn't do that or you want another way of doing it. There's a good old WinGet with Windows 10. And that's kind of important. Let me just do WinGet. There's WinGet. And it's... Um, I know for all the Linux guys, blah, 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 it's had it forever. I know, I know, I know. So with Windows, this new command is a package manager, uh, which you can install and check versions of software. So you do it all from the command line. There's also GUIs out there if you're not a command line guy, but I'm going to stick with the uh, command line for now. So basically, if I just said, uh, if I typed in winget search Wireshark, it's going to run off and find the current version 4.20. So that's um, obviously more current than what I had. I had 4.0. So I have to update it. And one way to do it is download the software, reinstall it, and all that kind of stuff. But again, we'll use winget. Winget. And we'll do, um, let's do the upgrade command. Let's see what happens. Upgrade Wireshark. If you didn't have Wireshark, you would uh, do an install command instead of an upgrade command. And you just type that in. Off it goes to the races. And it's going to install the software. If you use um, packages that include um, adware and uh, that kind of stuff and um, I can say miscellaneous junk you don't need, well, in that case, it actually installs it silently and does not accept those options, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to let this run for a bit because sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to crank over and get going. And when I come back, we'll see how long this took. Well, I'm glad I paused that video. <laughs> oh, wow. So it took 12 minutes to do this winget command. It did pop up with, an, with a UAC prompt as well. But I guess that's the trade-off for convenience. Because if I would have downloaded this and um, installed it and gone through the screens, that may have taken maybe two, three minutes. But I guess if I was doing this remotely on somebody's machine and I didn't care, then 12 minutes might have... Uh, not been an issue. So let's see if it actually worked. So it was 4.0 before, and let's see what it is now. Right here on the bottom, 4.20, it did work. So it works, it just took longer than I thought. So there you go, folks, WinGet. If you don't know about it, and you have Windows 10 or 11, you might want to get a little KD with it. It may help you out in the future. And one more thing to know. Have a good day. Bye for now.